Hey everybody, this is Jordan Messner, Regional Fisheries Manager with Idaho Fishing Game in McCall. I've been getting a lot of questions from anglers uh, wondering about how to uh, look at observations on the various pit tag arrays to see when adult fish have uh, been detected in, for example, the South Fork salmon. And so I'm putting together a short little tutorial here uh, describing to you how you can access that information. So what you're looking at here is the homepage for Patagus. Uh, you can find it at patagus.org, P-T-A-G-I-S.org. When you get to the homepage here, you don't need a login to access the data that I'm going to show you. You're going to hover over this data tab here. And the first thing I'll show you is how to look at Lower Granite Dam and see if there's been any uh, adults detected destined for the South Fork coming over Lower Granite Dam as of recent. So if you click on adult ladders here, that's going to bring you to a page where you can select the site you're interested in. Again, we're going to look at lower granite, which is this one here. And then you select a detection period. So we'll look at lower granite in the last three days. Once that data loads, you can go down and look at all of the pit dags that have been detected in the last three days at Lower Granite Dam, and it'll tell you what species you're looking at and where that species was released and then when they were released. So again, we're looking for South Fork fish in this example. So here's our first one, a hatchery summer Chinook marked at McCall Hatchery and released on the South Fork Salmon River in 2019. So this would be a three ocean fish. We click on this pit tag number here and it'll give us uh, details for that fish, all of its complete tag history. So again, we can see that fish was marked in 2018 as a juvenile at the McCall Fish Hatchery. It was released into the South Fork on April 1st, 2019. It was not detected as a juvenile going downstream through the hydro system, but that happens sometimes. It was, however, next detected in on May 29th of this year, coming back over Bonneville as an adult. And then it was again detected at several of the other dams on its way back, last detected on June 18th of this year, crossing over Lower Granite. So that fish is headed back to the South Fork as we speak. The next thing I'm going to show you is uh, looking for whether or not fish have been detected yet. Uh, adults returning to the Crassel Array on the South Fork. So for that one, under this data tab, you're going to click on observations. The site you're going to select is, uh, it's labeled KRS. So right here, it's the South Fork Salmon River at Crassel Creek. And we could look at the last uh, seven day period for this query. Once that data loads, uh, one thing I want to mention is this is just pit tag detections at this Crassel array. And so that includes downstream migrating juveniles that have been tagged, as well as upstream migrating adult fish. And there's also, when we tag thousands of juveniles every year in a river system, uh, there's undoubtedly going to be some tags um, that are shed or fish that are um, that end up as mortalities and a lot of those tags will then get lodged in the the bottom of the river in the substrate and then when we have high flow events like we did this year or like we are having this year those tags can become dislodged and then wash across the array and so the first thing i'm going to look at here and show you is the release date when you're seeing release dates of 2003 2014 2002 those are old tags. Those are certainly not, um, th there were not fish that were tagged those years that are returning this year as adults. And so you can just disc discount those tags immediately. Um, the release dates that we're looking for are 2019, 2020, 2021, which would be this year's jacks, um, or even 2022. Uh, there's a chance that fish could be re uh, tagged as returning adults coming back over one of the dams um, and that fish could be detected in the South Fork at the Crassel Array as well. So you're looking for anything from 2019 to current. 
So the first fish we see here, 2019, tagged in 2019, is this hatchery summer Chinook. And when we click on that pit tag and look at the complete tag history, you can see that that tag was never detected in the hydro system at any of the dams. And so I'd be willing to bet that is not a returning adult. We go back and the next one, let's see, um, 2021 right here. So that one could potentially be a jack returning to the South Fork this year. And again, that fish was not detected at any of the dams in the hydro system. And so that's likely a shed tag or a mortality as well that washed across the array this year. The next one down then is, let's see, this one uh, released in 2022. That was a juvenile release this spring. And so that's a juvenile headed out, um, headed out to the ocean. This last one down here, uh, a, a fish tagged and released in 2019. If we click on that one, Again, that fish has not been observed at any of the dams in the hydro system. And so I would not consider that a returning adult. And so that's all of the Chinook um, that could potentially be adults uh, that have been detected in the last seven days at the Crassel Array on the South Fork. And as you can see, none of those have been detected in the hydro system. And so as of yet, we haven't seen any adults um, detected in the hydro system that have been detected uh, in the South Fork as of yet this year. And that's kind of how this works. So I hope that's a, a good start for you in learning how to navigate this Patagas website. Um, as always, feel free to give me a shout if you have any questions.